and this is the penultimate pairing at the par three. And it's Ashley Buhai, whom you see there, tied for fourth, three back. Tough hole location today. Back center of the green. A bit of a slope just short. Plays downhill a couple of yards, but really good right to left wind. He has 158 to this whole location. Into the wind a little bit. I think it just pitched on the downslope there. And through the back golf course. Yeah, she has much less. She has 126 to the whole location. That was a nine iron, trying to get it all the way back there. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Watch out for Jin Young Ko today. She's on a charge so far. And these players likely won't know unless they look across and see Minji with the rules official on the tee at the seventh. They're unlikely to know that things are going to change. Buhai has given herself a chance to get it to 10 under par. At the eighth, and here she is, second shot, Angela. Yeah, I think she was confused again on the tee box. Uh, so she found herself in the greenside bunker, but it's really this bunker shot is going to hit the down slope and run to the hole. Try and get this club just under the ball. It sounded just a fraction clanky and wasn't able to get the spin that she was looking for. Sounded clean. Yeah, that's going to settle. Good shot. Very good. Ash Buha drove it in the bunker here. This is her third shot to the par five ninth. This whole playing into the wind today, Tom, accentuates those misses off the tee. It's just such a long par five looks like a, a lofted club it'll test your nerves right here maybe a full wedge and had a better angle so let's we'll see what she does with this looks like she's got the face pretty open to try and get it up in the air that's pretty well done from there she was going through a routine. She kind of looked over at her caddy and, and then kind of kept going. She needed to hit it about 120 to carry online with it. It's just, I think it's one of those flags that you want to go at, but you just know you can't because it's downwind. It's going to hit a downslope. She played it to the proper spot of the green. It's playing well under par. Second at the 11th for DT. Oh, she was aggressive in pitching it. Yeah, she was trying. She wow, was trying she... to go right at it, Grant. Hit on you has not had a great start, but she's only three off the lead. Left herself with a lot of club there. Been saying, Jim, that it's a ball striker's golf course. Well, she hit one back around the layup, flighted the ball nicely with those elite ball strikers do. This might be floating a little. Just stay there. Doesn't want to come back too much. Okay. That's it. Wimbledon not too far away, is it? Ash Buhai second. The fairway bunker's gotten a lot of work this week. She's snapping at it. Oh, she snapped too many times. That was a wonderful shot. behind at the 10th and here's Minji's approach yeah 127th this should be a pitching wedge it's over on the right side might need a decent kick here a little bounce like that yeah that'll leave a quick putt down the hill but really got a fortunate bounce now you at the 11th Let's see how aggressive she is. Yeah, we're able to get the ball 
to stop there coming in with the high ball flight. Needs some of these putts to drop. She's close, very close. She kept saying she was surprised that she was so close, struggling a bit yesterday. Ash Buhai just trying to cut the legs up there. Just so hard to get that ball to stop by the hole. Good shot. Yeah, I love that about her. I'm telling you, if she can win soon, she can be a superstar out here with that personality. Did she try to move that right to left out of the bunker? She sure did. Looks like she was set up. That's like not an easy shot to do. Good way to the right, sure. Second of the par five. She set up here to hit a little bit of a fade. It's her predominant shot to try and get it to land softly on these greens. That one got a little bit unlucky landing on the downslope of the knob right that protects the front left of this green. A little right to left and then down. Third shot for the co-leader, Min Ji Lee. Yeah, really good line, just trying to land it on the green about 10 feet. Well, we talk about the Aeon Risk Reward Challenge hole this 12th. She risked going for the green. And guess what? She won that last year. She won the million bucks. She did. Here's Ashley Buhai second from the thick rough. Yeah, that was obviously not lying well. Trish trying to trundle something up there, but if that just climbs up the slope, it, the top of the slope right there, I think that's a pretty good result. Well, not far away from... Keep it low. Aditi Ashok at 14, third shot. It is. She has 127, and that ball was sitting down pretty good in the rough. Oh, got a fortunate kick. That was a fraction from being in that bunker. Oh. Same situation that we just saw from Aditi, just barely covering that bunker. I like to play here. Coming in low, should release up over the slope. Steady, steady, steady. Okay. Hers was at the AIG Women's Open. And Ash is no stranger to playing golf in wind, having played so well there at Muirfield. And I think it's because of her smooth tempo. That's got to get up. Oh, just barely. It kind of looked like she swiped at that just a touch, Jim. Yeah, about 10 feet is the best we've seen, Jim. I mean, may have been players earlier in the day that got it closer, but maybe tougher as the day goes on. Oh, and this one is really good. <laughs> it's the same <laughs> good. The best wow. you've seen. You can drop it out of your pocket. Right you get any closer. And this feels like a must up and down for Jin Young now. Yeah, she had about 30 yards there to get it all the way back. It's just a beautiful shot. To the 16th, and hate on you. Anything in the middle, anything on the 16th green. There is here straight into you on the 16th. best on a hole that's yielded just two birdies all day after the bunker shot she just hit on 16. Oh, like... <laughs> <laughs> so wow. she, you feel like she might make it this ball come up short and right down the hill i think that influenced her decision there or it could be the second for Minji Lee. No problem. So good that 
if she isn't hitting it perfect, she can still manage to save par and keep herself in it like she did today. She's had the little, a little more club than her. Yeah. She's probably going to get it down there a little further than Jen Young did. And the third time is indeed a charm for Jen Young Co. 2019, 2021, and now 2023, she is the Cognizant Founders Cup champion.